In this project I'm going to create an A6 postcard for a golfing outlet. First I will open InDesign and create my layout. A new document, 148mm by 105mm. I'll put a frame over it with a 3mm bleed, so that's minus 3, minus 3, 154 being 148 plus 6, 111 being 105 plus 6. I'm now going to bring in the picture that I've decided to use as a background and I will place the image into the frame proportionally. So now I'm just going to add the text that I want on my postcard. Please do remember that this is an example of digital embossing, not of high-end design. So now that I've completed this section, I'm going to save my design. I'm also going to export this CMYK image as a PDF. The settings I'm going to use, compression, I'm going to use by cubic downsampling to 400 dpi of anything which happens to be above 400 dpi. I'm also going to use bicubic down sampling for anything that's above 400 down to 400 for my grayscales. I'm not going to down sample monochrome images. Marks and bleed, I need my printer's marks and I'm going to have the bleed that I've allowed on the document 3 millimeters all round. All the other settings can be left alone. So now I will minimize my InDesign document. I'm going to open up in Photoshop my background image. Now what I want to do with this is make the ball have a dimpled feel. And the way that I'm going to do this, I'm going to pick out each of the depressions like this. And so now that I've done that, I'm going to go to my layers and add a duplicate layer and on that duplicate layer by pressing the delete button I'm going to delete everything contained within the clip. I can see that I've done that because if I delete the background layer you can see that we now have transparency in all of the clipped parts. I can now take my paint bucket and make sure my foreground colour is black and then colour all of these elements in in black and that is now the solid embossed area of the golf ball. If I now zoom out and view the full image I'm now going to go and inverse so that everything is selected other than the original elements that I've made black. If I now press delete you can see that on this second background layer the only things that I have are the embossed elements of the golf ball. And this is actually the finish of the Photoshop work. I'll save the golf image as a Photoshop document, just in case I want to do something else with it later. I will then flatten the image and discard the hidden layer and save this as my golf image emboss as a JPEG. I now go back to my original InDesign document. If I go to links I can now relink the golf image but this time I will pick up the golf emboss image. And that has the effect of bringing in the emboss JPEG and you can see that the only thing on there is now the embossed element of the golf ball. So the job is virtually finished now, I just have to decide if I want to emboss any elements of my original text and I think what I'm going to do 
is embossed just the title. So I will take that and change it to 100% of black. And I will delete off here elements that I don't want to emboss. And that is my emboss plate. So I'll save that as golf emboss. And create my second PDF being the emboss PDF with exactly the same settings as previously. And that concludes the project.